Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna head down to Grammy and Papa Hagee's house to mill up some white pine logs using the Alaskan chainsaw mill and the 385 XP. Uh, Papa Hagee got these logs probably three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Um, they're huge logs and uh, hopefully dry and barkless. So that should be a treat for us. Emmerich's tagging along today. What do you think about going down and milling some logs? You think it's cool? Yeah. Yeah? An awesome sauce, cool and awesome sauce. So guys, if that's something that'd be interesting to you, uh, stick around. All right, so Peggy is getting the uh, is getting the logs moved around for us here. Uh, we got some big logs here. I'm gonna have to switch out mills to the bigger mill, and um, yeah. So he's gonna set us up a, a landing where we can mill and not have anything below us. Uh, so it's all nice and clean. We we'll get it all taken care of. So we'll check back in here in a minute. All right. While he's got that going on, I'm gonna get. Everything unloaded out of the truck and just throw it on the trailer here so it's nice and easily accessible. All right, let's uh, let's get this chainsaw out of this mill real quick, and get it into the other mill. So, the only complaint I have about this whole thing is that. takes a lot to just take it out of a mill because of how much you have to move around. It's just uh, kind of a pain. They make these quick clamps that go on to the edges here for like a quick, a quick connection. So I'd like to give those a try, but those are pricey. Uh, you know what? I think they're I don't think they're too bad, actually, to tell you the truth. I don't want to lie to you. I don't know how much they are exactly, but I don't think they're a whole lot. But all we're doing is loosening this up here. So we pull this saw out because we've got to do a bar change and everything. So. Let's uh, twenty five by twenty two. So you should be able to cut. Well, I need this rolled anyhow because the the crown this crown needs to be up. That crown needs to be up. Yeah. So to use the thirty two. To use the thirty. Well, yeah. To use mine. So yeah, that's gonna be. That's going to be freaking pushing it, but we'll give it a shot. All right. Yeah, just turn that so that's upright, and we should be good. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Once you get it turned, we'll we'll see if we need to wedge it. All right. So basically, the 32 inch bar that I have, I wasn't sure if it was going to work for this log. We're definitely gonna have to switch out to the other mill on the other log, because it's huge. Uh, but this log, we should be able to get milled with the 20, 23 inch with the 32 inch bar, so.
Ja, Baba. Actually. Yeah, Baba. I can move from Mario Kart. Oh, yeah? You're gonna kill me. I can move those. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing this okay. a little bit further down okay. so that my dog will land on the other side of this okay. bump there. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yep. Same thing as Lemmy. I don't know why not. Same thing as Lemmy. Oh, buddy. Is it heavy? Yeah. Dad? It's not light. It's not light? Yeah, you want to flip? You want to flip that dog up? Yes. Yeah. So I'll go right in there. That'll go there. I gotta move these adjustment screws around a little bit they can all go to the outside that'll give me the most stable it's got a Who needs a mill whenever you have a haggy? Right? I am, yeah. So, now we want to get it level side to side here. Um, we have to take it up quite a bit um, because we can't hit those, right? Make sense. This makes sense. Pull up sense. So once we clear them, then we can adjust it. Okay. This will be. Level. Are you check all? Everything should be good. We'll reseed them. So I prematurely took my mail off, which isn't a big deal. Just gonna throw her back on. Watch out, Bubba.
Not right there. Not right there. If you go too far up here, it pinches that. Pinches that roller. Here, I'll show you what we're talking about. This roller right in here, it's uh, just a roller with a bunch of bearings. There's a sprocket here. Yeah. You have to grease it every time. And if you pinch that down, that's no longer going to let the chain roll right. free. So we got to watch out for that. And then we'll just uh, feel for the bottom here. Whenever you start to feel your nut come through, we'll switch it to the other side just so we tighten it evenly. Once you feel the nut come through there, you can set it down. And we'll just do a couple of quarter turns or half turns on each side. And that will get that nice and even tightening across. If you tighten too much on one side versus the other side, then the saw tends to slip. Right now we're going to cut at our max depth right now is 23 inches. And we're going to use every bit of that here, so. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. And this is the Alaskan, the Granberg International 24-inch uh, uh, Alaskan mill with a 32-inch bar. And that's what you need to get the most out of your cut with this is a 32-inch bar. Unfortunately, um, I wish it was... What's what size bar is that? This the, yeah, this is the thirty-two. Yeah. And it's nothing special. There's nothing special about the bar. It's just an Oregon power cut. Um, it's not a a titanium or anything. There's nothing special about it. It's just uh, just a regular bar. And I'm not even using a milling chain. It's a full chisel chain. So, but this is the addition that we put on this week. What's that, dude? Yeah. A winch. Hold it. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah. So it'll come through here. You go out to the end of the run. Mm -hmm. Clip onto something. Come back to there. And it'll pull it straight across. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, if you don't do that, then you got to muscle it. I tell you what, it's actually not that bad. It, it does a lot of the work for you. Um, but we'll take it over there. Get sized up where we want to be on the log and then we'll uh yeah we'll get melon Yeah, dude. I was watching your camera on the full time. You your phone camera. Oh, that. Me! You always go away from me. I know. <laughs> so I tell you what. I like I'm not. That's my first time using the, uh, the winch. I'm not overly impressed by that. Kind of seemed like more of a pain in the ass than what it was worth. I feel like I can do it quicker without it. You got two guys. You don't need it. All right, so flattened out nice. That's not a ripping chain, but the chain did pretty good. Yeah, it's nice and flat. I'll come back here and get a look at it from the back. I mean. That's not bad. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take it out here the whole way down. We'll take it out here the whole way down, and then we'll have uh, square-sided boards. So they'll be oh, can, they'll be pretty much finished boards. You could set that on that flat spot. Maybe put a rail up or something. Yeah, we'll put we'll put a, a six one by six on, yeah. and then I have a mill that'll run right along that. So the way that this one works, 
is this fella here will go you want to cut we'll go right here like so um just a how far um just where we're not hitting the bottom uh hold on bubba you want it right against the dog yeah we need to get as much out of it as we can I know I should have put Loctite on that fucker. So it just pinches it against them other ones. What's that? It just pushes that against the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, Bubba. But you got to be careful over tightening each side because if you do, then it loosens the other side. Okay. Yep. Should work. Good. I just want to just take a picture of. Put Paula Heggy, yep, one and King Charles, please. I just really want to do that. Please, 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 please. I will want to do that. Okay, so if you guys didn't realize, I had lost my audio uh, for this portion of the video. So uh, you just get to deal with me narrating. Now, we did take that side slab out uh, just to make it easier for us to mill with my 24-inch Alaskan chainsaw mill. So that's really the only reason we did that was to, to better access that and not have to change out my mill. <laughs> about at this time I realized well this change just a little too dull to to finish out what's going on here you can see me really evaluating how uh, how the chains uh, performing which obviously is a very underwhelming here so I ended up shutting the saw down and talking over with Heggy about pulling it out of the mill the nice thing about this particular mill is to take it out of the mill right now it, you just unbolt it and slide it out and it works out actually really easily to put it back in as well he's been pulling back on it and he hasn't been getting down in the gullet here the gullet's here the gullet is here and it's got to go all the way back to the back of the tooth where that line is when you're done filing all right it was about at this time that we uh started using heggy's 395 xp it just it cuts so much faster than 385 it's a far superior saw, saw in my opinion <laughs> A 
against those ones. Sections. This is a uh, three and three quarter. This. Right, guys well we're all finished up here we got seven two by boards uh they're all about 15 and a half inches long we got one three by slab uh just for we really do anything with that um we also cut haggy a live edge three by for a bench um yeah so the alaskan chainsaw mill did great we hooked the 385 up to it 385 it performed pretty good um but i tell you what really topped the charts tonight was uh, Haggy's 395 hooked up to the uh, Granberg titanium bar with the ripping chain on it. It just ate through that like it was like it was not 395 is uh, definitely a lot more saw. Um, we're very fortunate tonight to have Haggy's mini excavator here to move these logs around. They're just so big that you couldn't use a PV that well to uh, to move them around by yourself. And uh, having that to be able to turn it, set it down exactly where we need it, we're very fortunate and thankful for that. Um, we're also thankful for him getting all these logs for us and saving them. I mean, that's a that's a huge weight off my shoulders as far as trying to get some lumber to mill. So uh, remember your acts of kindness, Buck and Billy Ray, and uh, keep me in your prayers, and I'll keep you in mind until we see you on the next video.